It's another day. The offside cupboard support slash bed support is on. I've put in an extra couple of rib nuts and an extra couple of bolts. The front here where the sink and everything is going to be has got a whole load of bolts in it. The near side also has got an extra couple of bolts. Stacked up on the floor is the rubber stable flooring. Stable as in where horses live. I need to fill those in because this rubber mat does sort of just sort of droop. And I think that will reduce its effectiveness, controlling vibrations. In about an hour, I've got another delivery of two boxes of silent coat. And I'm gonna do the remainder of the panels. I'm not gonna put a window in here, I've decided. I'm gonna insulate that and just have a flat wall all the way. I'm still gonna glaze the sliding door. Not wasting any time getting these new doors on. The old ones are still there and these are my shiny new ones. I've already had a go at taking the trim off. So I've got new trim for the rear quarter. The reason I am going to leave it on for now, this is a fog light. This trim doesn't come off until you take this trim off, which means breaking a whole load of the pop-on clips. I don't want to be able to not put it back on again once it comes off. Mix here again. Mick also had the idea of using a chair to manoeuvre the, the doors. The, the height is about right and, and it takes some of the weight. Because hanging the doors was quite a complicated thing, I just set up the camera and pointed it at us. The hinge holes for the standard hinges and the 270 hinges are the same. They fit in exactly the same holes. I cleaned up the hinge holes with isopropyl alcohol. They were just grimy underneath. No rust or anything, just primed metal. One thing we noticed about the hinges were that they were fitted before the van was painted. Putting on the new door, we maneuvered it in with the swivel chair. We tried putting in the bottom hinge first, but it actually worked out easier to put the top hinge in and then we were able to maneuver the door more easily for the second hinge. Getting the, the door to shut correctly was quite fiddly because there's a lot of play in the hinge bolts. You do need to adjust all of the, the hinges and the catches. The doors won't fit 100% first time. All the furniture from the new doors fit onto the, the van. The van is a 2011, the doors are from a 2014. Everything fit together quite well. I used the bolts and the screws from the old doors. Everything fit the same. There are three bolts per hinge. Two on the outside, one on the inside, and I figured the one on the inside is to stop people from just unbolting your doors and walking away with the contents of your van. And doing up the inside bolt on the lower hinges is a complete pain. You only get one eighth of a turn with a ring spanner through that tiny hole. And you also have to get it started with your fingers again through that tiny hole. I've taken off the light cluster so that I could try taking off the trim below. When I decided to leave the trim in place, I still kept the lights off while we were maneuvering those doors, just in case the light clusters got, got bashed. I didn't fit the trim that I got from the scrapyard at the same time as the new doors because they were from a non-maxi van. Because it rides higher at the back, the maxi, the fog light is moved down into, into the rear trim. The fog lights in the light cluster are above the legal level, which is, I think, one meter. After we've taken off the first door, the second door was much easier, much quicker. We turned that around super quick. In half, half the time it took us to do the first one. It did take a bit of fiddling to get the shut lines right, straight between the two doors, several times wiggling the door around on the loose bolts to get everything shutting right. The old doors are off, gone. I'm going to strip these for parts. I'm going to keep my badge though, because uh, the new doors uh, are just branded Ducato. These 270 hinges, gone. Horrible bent doors, gone. My cable tidy thing, history. More tools. Not enough coffee. I've cleaned off the sign writing 
and they shut. First time, no slamming, no jiggling, no lifting. I'm happy with the shut lines. That's a fog light. Also couldn't get the step off because the screws on the underside of the van are rusted solid. I squirted a load of oil on those and they did start to move. Oh, I'm so relieved. And if we go in, you could see daylight through the old doors and now you can't. Everything has been adjusted for the new doors. I'm gonna silent coat the back doors. I'm probably going to glaze the back doors because uh, glass for the back doors is super cheap because I'm not gonna silent coat that uh, and that is possibly the, the loudest rattling paddle. Probably do it. It's a bit better. Inside. Got to clean that first, um, usual. So I'm not going to film that because it's boring. Finish the silent coat under there, silent coat above there, silent coat below the door. I've also done the inside edges here. The doors sound expensive when you shut them now instead of clanging and rattling. The rubber mat is just down as a test fit. Um, they're six foot by four foot, which means it's front to back it's almost exactly 12 feet I've gone all the way up to the doors it doesn't stop the doors from closing so uh, I pick up again during the evenings see how far we get <laughs> 